Constantino. Dole. Pound for pound. Jose Benavides Sr. Jose, obviously, you're preparing three guys to fight. David, Jose, and Rayo. Talk to me, how's training camp? Everything's going well, actually. As a matter of fact, I was in Guadalajara this weekend uh, with Emiliano Moreno. He is 2-0. Uh, he's looking like a beast, man. He stopped that guy in the first round. Also, Luis, uh, also another kid that we have uh, in Seattle. He also stopped the guy in the third round. I'm super excited, man, to be here at this point right now. And now uh, getting ready for August 28th, David's going to be the main event. Uh, and Jose Benavides also is going to be fighting there in El Rayo Valenzuela. Phoenix, Arizona, you guys are coming home? I don't know if it's going to be Phoenix, Arizona. I haven't heard anything about Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, that's uh, what I thought I heard from David. Yeah, no, we were thinking, you know, Phoenix, Arizona, California. Before it was Phoenix, Arizona, uh, Los Angeles, or Texas. So it's still in the air? It's still in the air. I haven't confirmed 100%, but... It's looking like it's going to be Arizona, but anything could change. Uh, it would be a great thing to fight in Arizona, a homecoming fight. So uh, that would be exciting, exciting. but I don't want to get too excited yet until we sign a contract or, or we know 100% sure in Arizona. What do you make of Dave Benavides? Jose Uskatagi, August 28th, main event. Uh, Uskatagi is an ex-champion, a good fighter, a uh, very strong fighter. Uh, I think David is, is going to take that fight. Uh, we're not underestimating Oskategi. Like I said, he's a great champion. Uh, he has, he needs this fight in order to come back and get big fights. We also need that fight, but we can't just win a fight. We have to look impressive in order to get the bigger fights. Then the bigger fights include, based on what uh, David said, he said he would love that Charlo fight this year. At, at this point, you know, there, there's so many fights out there that we would li like to fight. Uh, of course, Charlo would be a great fight, a very dangerous fight for us in a very exciting fight for the for, for the fans. Why not give him that fight? We're willing to give him that fight. Uh, we just want for Charlo to accept that fight because, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, we can't go any uh, forward without him accepting the fight. Hopefully, if he's watching, you know, let's do this fight. The fans want to see this fight. It shouldn't be a problem. We're with the same promotion company, so let's make it happen. We'll wait. 168, there's no way, you know. He said he was going to come up at uh, 168. Uh, so, I mean, there's, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think we, we'll fight at 160 or whatever, you know. 168 is a, a way where we, we feel comfortable. But, I mean, if he really wants to make that fight, you know, uh, maybe we go down a little bit. But uh, I don't know. He has to be serious about this, you know. Right. And obviously, uh, they have been a BS Esports in rounds today. He looks sensational. He looks, you know, he still has the energy. He's going back. He's going rounds in the back right now as we speak. Yeah, we, this is the third week here in uh, California. We were sparring with Azurdo uh, Ramirez. And uh, after Surdo, he was going with other guys. He was going 12 rounds, 11 rounds, 10 rounds. So he loves sparring. And uh, uh, we're just here training hard, man, getting ready for the Uskategi fight. We don't underestimate Uskategi. Uskategi is a great fighter. Like I said, he needs this fight, so he's going to become very hungry. What do you make him saying, like, um, you know what, it's activity now that's taking me to new heights? Uh, I feel very blessed, and I feel super happy because now he knows what he wants, and now I don't have to push him as much. Now he's hungry, he's determined, and uh, he, he wants to make history. So that makes my job a little bit easier. All right, anything you want to leave it with? Obviously, both your sons are fighting as well as Rayo. You're building a great team around you as far as the fighters you're managing, you're guiding to the world title. Yeah, I feel, I feel that I haven't done anything. I haven't accomplished anything. Yes, you we're just, uh, we, we're just working hard to, to give uh, the fans good, uh, good, exciting fights. Uh, we're going to continue working hard, and hopefully one day, you know, I could be in the lights of those big uh, trainers and, and fighters. Uh, we have a lot to do. We're going to keep working hard, uh, stay focused, dedicated, and uh, uh, just keep working hard. There's no doubt in my mind that you will get there. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Thank you. Thank you.